story's kind of sprawled out, well I guess that I should warn you. Lil B's my favorite rapper, he's from Berkeley, California. I heard him first in 06, he was in a group called The Pack. They were just a bunch of teenagers, real hungry to rap. And their single vans got famous, all the skaters really loved it. Got my vans on, but they look like sneakers, they freaks from their pulpits. But MTV wouldn't play their song, they called it a commercial. They missed something entirely when they made things controversial. Cause rap and skating culture are both socially rejected. It might have been a silly song, but it was still about being different. So a record label signed them on the strength of that one song. Two years went by, the label dropped them, things had all gone wrong. Lil B was shattered, so he came up with a plan To find a more direct way to connect with all his fans As soon as he found MySpace, that's where the madness started at 140 pages, he made 700 tracks And a lot were recorded poorly with a lo-fi punk aesthetic He talked about his life, got high and came off schizophrenic Psychedelic, funny, most important, he was honest His gift was letting words unfiltered flow from his subconscious He called this being based at first, I did not understand it Sloppy and unnerving, sometimes lost and heavy handed I know rappers always claim they can find words right on the spot But no one shares unstructured thoughts quite like Lil B the bass god his music is a diary, a transcript of his mind Spaced out existential, sometimes he won't even rhyme He talks about his thrift store clothes, how he loves everyone How people should be positive before reaching for their guns It comes off kind of like a deconstructive science project Where he can pick apart cliches and forms within his genre He's got songs about celebrities, he's even made up his own dance It's humorous and ludicrous, but it's all part of his plan Cause he's got other songs that reach unmediated truths Experimental hip-hop, he gives his perspective on youth The bass world is a product of a strong grassroots persistence His life is a defense of the world wide web's mere existence Sure there's mediocrity and people will misuse it But the digital community is the subtext to his music He responds to every screen name out there as much as he can Appreciate support, he keeps his music free for fans I remember when his MySpace pages took so long to load Girls sent him tattooed half clothes photos, he posted them in droves He's got videos filmed in his hometown, blowing up on YouTube Lives his life on Twitter, if you follow he'd retweet you And his fans sometimes might seem a little crazed in their devotion but something in his music brings out complex, strong emotions So you can call him terrible, or you could say he sucks But hatred looks so petty next to all the lives he's touched Reaching out to us in ways that never happen often He dedicates his life to making hip-hop's hard shell soften Ambient and soulful, he's got one disc on a noise label Spoken word insanity, I heard it when I had no cable He's a role model for kids much more than popes or politicians Cause he lives for positivity and the power of ambition It's clear he's just a young man out there doing what he loves Not scared or shy to be himself when push comes to shove So bass god, I recorded this, hoping one day you would listen A token of my thanks for all the music you have given You know that if the blogs and critics someday forget about you I'll be among the millions who are glad that they have found you Accomplished as an artist, you've earned fans and many friends Cause you stand for something special, always worth time to defend so I say thank you 
you base God for staying honest, staying base. And when the world won't fit you in, you have to make your own space. 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 People that, that that say I cannot rap but are people that are only looking at the surface. They 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 only they only read what's given to them. Those are those people. But the people that that, that go deeper, those are the people that, that love my music and support what I represent.